Hi everyone, it's Alpha Man 100 again, and I have another jacket to show you. This one is a Chinese military jacket. Uh, I was seeking this out for years. Uh, I, once I saw it, I fell in love with it, but uh, still hard to find uh, unless you go to China, I guess. But uh, yeah, this one is a PAAF bomber flight jacket, I believe. So uh, I try to do some research and uh, yeah, that's all I know. It was somewhere in the Korean War era. Uh, yeah, so let me show you what it looks like and uh, let me know what you think. Okay. So here's the jacket and uh, very nice. I love this collar. It's a rounded shaped collar. That's what attracted me to it because it was a rounded uh, edge there. And uh, the lining is a, looks like a silk, green silk lining. But if you look close underneath, there's sheepskin underneath this liner. So, yeah. And uh, it's like a two in one jacket. If you unzip this here, the liner comes out along with the collar. So uh, there is a uh, under collar here, you can see. So the zipper goes all the way around and it takes off the inner liner along with the collar. Um, it has two pockets here on this top, the zipper. And two pockets here. And here's the other side. Button. You can button it up or zip it up. There's another. And there's a, a uh, button here to hold the collar. Now I cleaned the leather. I used leather cleaner and I used fur cleaner. So the fur is cleaned and the leather is, I used mink oil and neat's foot oil to clean the leather. I mean, it wasn't really in a bad condition, but uh, yeah. So I fell in love with this jacket because uh, I just love the collar. It's a rounded edge. Similar to my other jacket that I have here. Here's my other jacket that I had redone. It has a rounded edge collar on each side. And I had it custom made that way. Uh, this is very soft, very nice. This is my redone, my re-redone jacket. But I had it redone twice. Had the lining redone with a white lining, uh, the collar redone with the edge, and I had it uh, lengthened longer. You can see this is extra leather, and the leather used to go up to here, and uh, yeah, they were able to do that for me. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, back to the Chinese jacket. Uh, yeah, there's a little pocket inside here, and uh, I fell in love with this just because of this, and it's rare, and uh, I think it's vintage. It looks really older. I couldn't find any tag on it or anything. Uh, if I look closely, oh, it's rubbed off a little bit on the pocket inside, but I can't tell what it says because it's rubbed off here. So. Uh, but uh, after some research on the internet, um, I got some information. But I bought this for $100, and uh, the listing said it was large to extra large, so I bought it now. And when I tried it on, it fit me like a size 40, which my size is um, like 44. My body size is larger than it looks, I guess. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll be 
putting this up for sale soon. Uh, I got it for 100 bucks, so I'll just probably 100 bucks. Uh, yeah, so let me give you uh, better looks of the jacket and uh, yeah, check out eBay and it'll be there. Okay, here's me trying on the jacket. Uh, as you can see, it's a little snug on me. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyone that wears maybe a size 40, 38, uh, will fit perfectly in this jacket. Um, yeah, look at that color. Um, it's very nice. I like it. I just wish it was a little larger. And yeah, so I could at least button it up. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, see the leather uh, fits me on the torso very well, but uh, going downward. Um, I love that collar. Pops up nice. There's a button there and a little flap for your collar to snap. And, uh, very warm. Uh, very nice. Hello, oh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, just look for it on uh, eBay, and uh, hopefully <laughs> you can get into it. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye.